Live from the slots of Hollywood is Hollywood Squares! The biggest night of television is coming. Don't miss the Survivor finale, CBS Thursday. Thank you. There's a spring in your step, Hal. Huh? Why do you say that? You're singing. And for it, I was. Is there something I should know about? There's no place like home. Home? You're home? You're home? Well, I've been spending a lot more time over there at Barbara's invitation. Really? Yeah. You know, there really is no place like home, like being there, where everything's familiar, my family all within reach. Does this mean that things are heating up between you and Barbara again? Oh, no. Well, nothing quite like that, but it's the small steps that count, you know. I go home, I hang out with the kids, I feel like I'm part of things That again. is just terrific. And Barbara and I are talking again, and uh, I think she's having second thoughts about Craig. Did she call off the wedding? She's thinking, and the longer she thinks about this whole thing, the closer she's going to come to realizing she doesn't really know this guy. That's probably because there's so many things he doesn't want her to know. Doesn't want anyone to know. Well, I certainly am not going to lose any sleep if those two don't walk down the aisle, but... As far as my brother being a criminal... Margo? I Let's agree to disagree on that point, okay? Agreed. But if Barbara does call it off with Craig, does that mean you're going to get off my brother's back? Whoa, it smells incredible in here. Hey, Jen, it's the woman who looks like Mom. Chocolate chip. I see that. Did you make enough for all of us? How many people would that be nowadays, Mom? Well, funny you should ask. Because I think we're going to have a couple of cookies and sit down and just talk about all of that. What about spoiling our appetite for dinner? Prepare to have it spoiled for life, Squirt. What is she talking about? <sighs> Come on, honey. I want to talk to you about something. What's up? Well, I know that things have been pretty crazy around here the last few months. And I apologize for that. And I'm going to try real hard to make things better. Cool. This isn't just an apology, is it, Mom? No, no, it's not. I've made a very important decision that involves all of us. All of us meaning who, exactly? Well, the important part is that Craig and I well, the wedding is back on. It's really going to happen. And I need all of your love and support. I do need you to go get those photos of Ruby and Nick. Once again, you're asking me to break into Lucinda's house? No, 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 it's not the house. They're in the guest house. My son has them in the guest house. Nothing can stop my marriage to Barbara Ryan. No, thanks. I beg your pardon. I said no. Why not? Lucinda just caught me there with Ruby and nearly called the cops. So nearly. She's warming up. No, no, listen, I, I told you the first time. I cannot afford to get involved in anything illegal like a breaking and entering. You can't afford to get caught. And you cannot afford to refuse this offer. All right. So you offering me some kind of insurance? I offered you my home in exchange for certain services. And if you find that you are unable to perform these services, then... What, you toss your own sister out into the street? I've done that before. Oh, you reek of family loyalty. You will get the photos, or you can pack your rucksack and Katie and check out of the Lakeview. Fine. Simon, I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to strong you. It's just this on again, off again wedding. It's finally on again, and those photographs would ruin everything. 
And you ought to be more discriminating about who you get naked with. Okay, she was naked. I was set up. If the photographs were real, I could understand. But I am the injured party here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're such a victim. I am being betrayed by my son and Lucinda Walsh. Huh? You and I are doing the right thing here. Look, if everyone is so dead set against this marriage... Uh, there's no turning back now, Simon. This marriage is the crux of a much... much larger situation. Oh, sounds romantic. So what's the situation? Well, Simon... I have 60 days to repay a small fortune. And with my bride-to-be's assistance, I can do that easily. I can repay my son's trust fund and, what's more, I can repay Lucinda Walsh for every insult, every dirty trick, every power play she has ever pulled. Huh? All right, I admit I like that part. Yeah, and you gotta be there to enjoy it with me. And what is more, you could come away with this with more money than you could possibly dream. Which anti-wrinkle cream is recommended number one by dermatologists? Neutrogena Healthy Skin Anti-Wrinkle Cream, the first daily retinol cream with SPF 15, clinically proven to treat and help prevent fine lines and wrinkles. Neutrogena Healthy Skin Anti-Wrinkle Cream. Experience the Conair Water Jet Spa, the most powerful compact ever that turns your tub into an invigorating experience. Or get multi-directional massage power with a dual jet spa, all from Conair. You always knew Campbell's was good. You just didn't know how good tomatoes could be. Recent studies have shown that diets rich in tomato products are associated with the reduced risk of certain types of cancer. And all eight Campbell's tomato soups are full of tomato goodness. There's enough Campbell's here to last me a hundred years. That's the whole idea. Campbell's, mm-mm, good. Want a quick snack? Try Campbell's ready-to-serve tomato soup in the resealable container. Different ends of the music spectrum, but actually we're the same color. Dark Arbor number 112 from Nice and Easy. It works with my own tones and highlights. It's natural color, all my own. Nice and Easy by Clairol. This hair feels like straw. Time for Infusium 23, the authority on damaged hair. Hey. Hey. Not anymore. Turn damaged hair into managed hair with Infusium 23. Me wanna shout, 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 shout. New Shout has tough stain shout. fighters that get out more tough stains better than spray and wash. Yeah, yeah. Shout. No one makes me shout. In just one try. Shout. No one makes me shout. Want more tough shout. stains out the first time? Shout. shout them out with New Shout. shout. Jesse Johnson, a family company. Shout. Enterprise Rent-A-Car. Ellie's renting again. And Enterprise picked her up again. She said Enterprise picks her up free. Free? Free. Now that makes renting easy. Mm -hmm. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. Smile, you got friendship. Smile, you got friendship. Oh, honey mustard, smile. Honey mustard, smile. There's nothing like the new, sweet, and tangy taste of French's honey mustard. Smile, you got friendship. Honey mustard. Tonight on 60 Minutes 2, the full story of what Bob Carey's squad did in Vietnam. Before there was CSI, there was someone else who followed the clues to a killer. Angela Lansbury returns. Just as I suspected. All new Murder, She Wrote, CBS Wednesday. Well, this isn't exactly the reception I was hoping for. Well, I'm not exactly sure how we're supposed to act. I mean, Mr. Montgomery... Craig, you're supposed to call him Craig, remember? Craig bought me this really cool video game, but I don't really know him. Honey, you're going to know him. I've told him all about you. You're going to be crazy about him. What do you think, Jen? Well, I think... I think Mom already knows how I feel about this wedding. Yes, I do. And as I said, I know these last months have been very difficult for all of us, but I'm hoping that maybe now that things are official, you will be my maid of honor, won't you, Jen? 
You bet. Be there my Barbara Ryan original, smiling on the outside, dying on the inside, like everyone else there. And even after you guys are married, I'm still allowed to call him Craig, right? Of course you are. Because it's not like we're losing Dad, right, Mom? No, no, no. Listen to me, you're not going to lose your Dad. Your Dad will always be your Dad. And, and we've talked about this already. He's going to move back in here, and I'm going to move in with Craig. Okay, but what am I going to do? Well, we're kind of hoping that maybe you guys will move in with Craig and me. <laughs> You can't be serious. You can actually see all of us living in that place? At the Lakeview? Yeah. Room oh. service, maid service, the spa. Does that mean I don't have to clean my room up anymore? Nice try, Buster. This mother does not raise parasites. Yeah, but she has no problem marrying one. Look, if... if you do want to stay here with your dad, we'll, we'll work something out, okay? Why don't I do both? Sometimes I can stay with you and Craig, and sometimes I can stay here with Dad. I think that's a wonderful idea. Yeah, wonderful. Jennifer. Don't bother asking. Mom. You know what? You know what? Maybe you don't realize. Maybe you don't realize that no matter where I am, no matter where I go, there's always, always going to be room for you. I gotta go. <clears throat> really? I, I was kind of hoping that maybe we could we could get a pizza, see a movie. Did Dad know you set a date and everything? Well, no, I'm gonna tell Whatever. him to. <clears throat> Wait, Jennifer. Here. Thanks, Scorp. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Do you have any plans tonight? No. Why don't you go hang out with Adam or, or one of the other friends? When Dad gets here, I, I don't know, it might get pretty loud, so if you're here, keep your head down. I can't believe this is happening. It's not happening. Okay, there will not be a wedding. And that's all you need to know. I love you. Bye. I don't know what's going to happen, Margo. Who knows what the future holds? So, am I going to lay off your brother? Yeah, who can say for sure? It's a good thing you're not obsessed. Look, the only reason I backed off was to stop Barbara from getting all protective about him. Oh, isn't that interesting? It had absolutely nothing to do with the fact that there's no reason for you to be so oh. zealous. I've got reasons. I've got plenty of reasons to stay on top of Craig Montgomery. Why is he accused of another crime that I don't know no, of? Because he's up to something. What makes you say that? Because a cop, a uniform cop, having absolutely nothing to do with this case... Yes. ...witnessed Montgomery with a new associate. Did he get a name, a description? Male, 25 years old, 6 foot 2, brown hair, green eyes, Australian accent. So are you putting a trace on this guy? That's my next step. Well, why don't I save you the trouble? Because this associate sounds very much like my sister Katie's husband, Simon Fraser. So Craig has pressed his brother-in-law into service now. Well, you see, Katie and Simon are living at the Lakeview with him now, and Simon is doing some kind of work for Craig. And just what kind of work does Simon do? He's a mechanic. A mechanic. And all of a sudden, Craig needs his own personal mechanic. Did Craig or Katie tell you what Simon is really doing? Well, no, they doing? didn't really get into it, no. Hmm. Don't say hmm. Come on, Hal. I've worked with you for too long to not know what happened. That I should hmm. keep secrets yeah. from you? You yeah. know exactly what I'm up to, Margot. As for your brother. <sighs> Never mind. Simon Fraser. This is the guy that was chasing after Lily Walsh, correct? Correct. The guy that turned the Walsh mansion into a drive-thru. 
So? So here we have a man with no self-control and more than a share of poor judgment, and lo and behold, he's hooked up with your brother. And lo and behold, he's guilty by association. Hmm? They're up to something. I'm gonna find out what it is. How I thought you were gonna back off my brother. Did I say that? I didn't say that. Ruby is staying with Lucinda, isn't she? Yeah. She yeah. invites you in. You're a guest. You walk in. You get the photos. You walk out. You bring them to me. All right. Here's something for you, then. Why don't you get Ruby to do it herself? She's already there. She's on the inside. If Lucinda even suspects that Ruby is helping me, she will run Ruby out of town on a rail. No, we need Ru Ruby inside long enough to gain her trust. Then we got somebody on the inside to pass us information later. No, right now, Ruby has to be above suspicion. Later on, she could be the key to getting everything we want. Hey, hey look, listen, enough about what we want. What am I going to get out of this? Well, how would you like to leave Oakdale with as much cash as your heart desires? Huh? Now, that sounds pretty good. Okay, go ahead. Exactly. Big money, small chore. And as long as you have Ruby in your pocket, not Ruby again. Simon, if I find you with that woman one more time, I swear to God I will kill her. Nothing brightens your child's day like their favorite songs. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Time Life Music brings you a new collection, 100 Best Love Songs for Kids, for just $24.99. Imagine owning every one of your children's favorite songs, all in one collection. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. You'll get all their favorite playtime songs. sing-along songs. There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name oh, and And all of the best loved lullabies. Back the by baby on the street top. 100 songs for kids on four CDs or four cassettes for just $24.99. songs for kids. If you're not completely satisfied, Time Life will refund every penny of your purchase price. So call now for 100 songs for kids. To order 100 songs for kids, call 1-800-917-9229. That's 1-800-917-9229. Or send $24.99 for four CDs or four cassettes, plus $4.99 shipping and handling to 100 Songs for Kids, Department 4, Richmond, Virginia, 23280. Or order online at timelife.com. What do real Save-A-Lot shoppers say about Save-A-Lot food stores? I love Save-A-Lot. Save-A-Lot's quality is great. I can save $80 a week. Save on Michelina's frozen entrees, only 69 cents. Bar S Original Franks, two for a dollar. Ragu spaghetti sauce, traditional or meat, only 99 cents. And big 28-ounce Bauman's Best Barbecue Sauce, 99 cents. I just wish we started shopping here a long time ago. Save-A-Lot food stores. Great food, great prices. My mom says it's all right. See you in a minute. Okay, you know what you're going to do? You're going to take some cookies over to Stewie. Listen. I don't want you to feel like you're in the middle of things and you have to make a choice and take sides. Like where you want to live or stuff like that. I know I don't. I do. That's what I love about you, William Munson. You're such an independent thinker. I know I'm asking you to do some pretty hard stuff. But maybe it won't be as 
as hard as you think it'll be. And I know that, that you're not going to feel like this is a perfect family right in the beginning. So just don't, don't worry about that, okay? I don't worry. You don't. That's pretty cool. Worrying is such a waste. I mean, most of the time when you worry, it's about stuff that won't even happen. Like this wedding. Why would you say something like that? Um, well, I mean... Hey, Buckaroo, what's up? Uh, nothing. I got a jet. Uh, Mom wants to talk to you. Oh, great, because I want to talk to her, too. Hey, where are you running off to? Stewie's got a new DVD player. Cool. Okay. Later. Later. <laughs> Boy, if I had half the energy of that perpetual motion machine... Well, I'm glad you stopped by. Have a cookie. Thanks. I wanted to talk to you about something. Uh, could I ask you something first? I'm trying to tie up a couple of loose ends at the station, and I thought maybe you could help me. Well, sure. What do you want to know? I want to know everything you can tell me about Simon. Simon who? Simon Fraser, Craig's brother-in-law, Katie's husband. <laughs> Why would you think that I would know anything about him? Well, he's living over in the Lakeview at Craig's suite, I figured. I, I, uh, I didn't realize that. Well, I just thought you might have met the guy before you and Craig cooled things off. Oh, forget it. I just wondered maybe if you knew what those two were up to. Guess not. So, uh, anything new and interesting around here? Where's Jennifer? Oh, she decided she wanted to be as far away from this place as possible after I gave her the news. And what news was that? Well, that... Craig and I haven't cooled things off. Is that so? As in, a matter of fact, things have warmed up considerably. The wedding's back on. Again. And this time it's going to stay that way. Brian! Hey. hey, hey. What's wrong? What happened? What happened? My mom announced to Will and me this morning that she and Craig have reconciled their differences and that the wedding is definitely Oh, wrong. Jen. I, I just... So bad for it. it broke my heart. I, I can't, I can't argue with her. I can't reason with her. It's not like she'll listen. All I want to do is tell her what a huge mistake she's making, but it hasn't worked before. So why should it work now? Jen, the only thing that's gonna work is the kind of proof that she can't ignore. I mean, pictures. No, it's the first thing I thought of too. Seeing those pictures of Craig and Ruby is the only thing that's gonna make my mom change her mind. If we do this, there's no turning back. She can't marry your dad, Bryant. My, mom, my dad and I were hoping that over time, maybe she would, she would come to see the light or something, but we're, we're running out of it. You sure about this? Absolutely. You saw the pictures, don't you? Yeah, yeah, they're in my place. And you're sure no one can find them? The only way anyone's going to find those pictures is if they, my dad tortures the information out of me. You really put it past him? Look, I will take care of everything. All we have to do is wait to make our next move. I'm always shot where... What else, Jen? Their wedding day. Okay, settle down. Take a deep breath. There's no need to draw blood. I'll be the judge of that. We were discussing pressing business, Katie. Nothing diabolical. Right. I bet you thought you lost me when you tore out of Lucinda's house like that. Come on, I wasn't trying to lose you, oh, Katie. Please. I'm sure you two would like a little privacy. Why don't you take this tiff to the guest wing? If we're having a tiff, it's because of you. What kind of job requires my husband to go off and grope that cheap cha-cha? I don't see Simon complaining. I'm complaining, and I'm your sister. You always complain. Katie, I'm just trying to get Ruby to think she can confide in me. That's it. Oh, and this requires a full-body massage. From time to time. <laughs> don't look at me. I'm not twisting his arm. I would love to twist a few things uh, great, in Great. See, that, that is my cue to get out of here. Now, where do you think uh, you're going? we're on the same page about that matter we discussed. But what matter? Hmm. I swear to you, if this matter includes rubbing up against that ruby I'll chick... I'll take care of it. 
Good. Take care of what? I'll handle things. Simon, what are you doing? Well, settle Craig, down, let, settle down. Don't get settle your hands down. off of me. And if you want to sulk, Katie, go sulk somewhere else. Have you forgotten you have a private entrance to your private area of the suite? Oh, gee, I wouldn't want to walk in on you and your honey bun making some kind of middle-aged love. I might have to puke. Jealous? Of what? This upcoming marriage of yours is a complete joke. Oh, you're a marriage expert now? You don't have a marriage, you have an arrangement. Same as yours would be, except Barbara won't know it. Stay out of it. This is so typical of you. Everything in your life is a million times more important than anyone else's. Oh, Katie, just let Simon do his work. Let the wedding go on peacefully and everybody will be happy here. You know what? I can be just as selfish as you. Because I do have a marriage, no matter what you say, and I am going to do whatever I have to to protect it. If that means keeping my husband from doing your stupid little orders, so be it. You brought this on yourself. Bottom of the ninth. Two outs. At bat, Derek Jeter. <laughs> the winning Ritz Cracker and the real Derek Jeter or Ken Griffey Jr. will come play ball in your backyard. When your skin sags, it can make you look older. Now you can take matters into your own hands with the new Rock Daily Firming Treatment Proteant Active Pure. Our exclusive molecule, Proteant, is proven to work deep in the skin's surface to lift and tighten. Your skin looks and feels firmer. Your face is visibly lifted in just eight weeks. New Proteant Active Pure Daily Firming Treatment. Rock, we keep our promises. Mom, Dad, we're best friends, right? Guess what? I'm about two seconds away from dumping you, kicking you out of my life. You won't even recognize me. And pretty soon, Someone's gonna try to get me to take drugs. Wanna do something about it? They're gonna have to make me tell you where I am and who I'm with every day. No matter how much I fight you. Don't like it? Tough. You gotta be the grown up. What's a great way to keep a baby's skin healthy? Dial up the dryness with America's driest diapers. Huggies. The Breathe Dry system lets air flow in to help keep skin drier than any other diaper. For skin that's beautiful, smooth, healthy, try Huggies Ultra Trim Diapers. Keep these cheeks dry, and you'll keep these cheeks smiling. For all those who have difficulty bathing, and for all those who care for them, take comfort. Take comfort, take comfort, there's comfort back. Comfort bath. Thick as a washcloth, disposable comfort bath can be microwaved for a warm, soothing bath. Comfort bath leaves skin soft and smooth. There's comfort bath. Take comfort. Look for comfort bath at your drugstore. With two teenagers, your house is more than just a home. Hey, Mom, we're starving. It's a 24-hour diner. Good thing I've got this. New Chef Boyardee Big Beefaroni. Oversized pasta with 50% more beef. For bigger kids with bigger appetites. Big Beefaroni from Chef Boyardee. Harm's ex-girlfriend just turned up dead. And all the clues point to him. You have an alibi? I know you don't have one, Commander. Fresh Yearwood guests. All new Jagging CBS Tonight. CBS Thursday, the biggest night of television is here. All of America will be watching the Survivor season finale. Who will be the ultimate survivor? Find out on the two-hour finale and live reunion show CBS Thursday. Our survivor, keep on surviving. Tonight at 5 on CBS 2 News. A survey reveals Survivor, more famous than George Washington or Bill Gates. Then at 6, just 24 hours until the writer's strike that could rock Hollywood. Tonight at 5 and 6 on CBS 2 News. Amazing Blue Star Ointment stops itching fast. Athlete's foot, jock itch, psoriasis, ringworm, scalp itch, stops corn and callus growth fast. Winter itch, dry crack feet. The original. Ask for it.
Finally, the gentle restorative ingredients of the finest spas combined with our original rinse clean formula, introducing Spa Formula Pro. Norm's is just shrimply marvelous. Our jumbo shrimp and top sirloin steak dinner with strawberry sundae ice cream pie, only $8.99 at all Norm's restaurants. Style is creating your own look. It's being yourself. Style is being confident in who you are. Call Bally Total Fitness now and start feeling confident about the way you look. Join today for just $5 to start. Plus, get a gift certificate for six months free. We've got exciting new classes, innovative equipment, and friendly, motivating instructors. Everything you need to feel great. Start creating your own look. Call Bally at 1-800-FITNESS. It's just $5 to start, plus get six months free. Marie Osmond's new interview and more Kennedy Home movies next TT. Mary Tyler Moore as you've never seen her before. Like mother, like son, Sunday, May 20th. you do that? No matter where I go, every single time you find me. You're unbelievable. You make it sound like you're trying to hide from me, sweetie. Well, sweetie, I know better than to try that. Oh, sure, I would find you stripping on the tabletops or making out with one of the waitresses. Oh, I need a coffee fix first. Very funny. Fine, you know you're gonna get a burger, so just put it down and talk to me. If you want to play, then you're really just gonna have to keep a lid on the whining, okay? I don't want to play with anyone except you. I'm sick to death of watching people put their paws all over well, you. Well, everyone, that is, except you. Okay. You started working for my brother. And then I find you with that ruby chick again. And to top it all off, you plant a big wet one on Lucinda Walsh, God help us all, right in front of your married ex-girlfriend. What are you, some kind of one-man orgy? Listen, where I plant my lips, or anything else for that matter, is none of your concern. How many women do you need? Okay, all right, okay, let me see. Um, hmm... Uh, number one in, in the morning... Oh, you are totally out of control, Simon. If you don't watch it, you're going to end up in jail, and I am not going to be there to bail you out for the millionth time. Speaking of being out of control, when in the world are you going to realize that this is not a real marriage? I'm not into labels either, okay? Call our marriage whatever you will, but I will not be treated like your doormat. What do you want from me, huh? What, what? No. All right, no, don't answer that. What do you want? Because I, I, I gotta tell you, I've been just about as civil and understanding as I can possibly no, be. No, you have not. You're nicer to total strangers than you are to me. I am the only one who's been even attempting to adapt the last few months, and I am trying my hardest to understand that you need time to figure out your feelings oh, for me. Oh, come on. I know exactly how I feel about you. But I am not gonna sit around like some idiot while you run around behind my back, okay? Seriously? Seriously? <sighs> You're the most exhausting human being I have ever met. You're the one who's making me do these things. I am sweet. I could be very sweet if you would just treat me the way I want to be treated. You're behaving like a spoiled kid. That is the way you're going to be treated. Well, you're making me this way, you and that ruby chick. Listen, number one, you have absolutely nothing to worry about with Ruby, okay? Since when? Since, since the job that I'm doing for your brother is almost over with. It's finished, almost. And number two... What I do, and who I do it with for the millionth time, is none of your business. Okay, so in other words, you're finishing up with Ruby, and now you're setting your sights on Lily again. Is that what you're saying? <sighs> is that what this is all about? Oh, please. Oh, yes, it is. When you ran into Lily over at Lucinda's house, I saw the way that you looked at her. I wasn't expecting to see her And there. then you flew into a flying rage. It wasn't because of Ruby. It was Lily. What, what, what can I say? Uh, congratulations would sound a little hollow. You know what? You don't need to say anything. Because I've heard it all, Hal. And I already know that nobody in this town is happy for me. Did you ever stop and wonder why that is so unanimous? Because... People expect you to reach a certain stage in your life and just grin and bear it. Now, I want to know why you can't decide that you want more from your time on this earth. People want to do what I am doing, but they don't have the courage to do it, so they judge me instead. Mm, maybe. 
Or maybe they love you too much to lie and tell you it is safe to free fall off a cliff. Oh, here we go again. Barbara, I am not going to apologize for caring about what happens to you. Greg loves me. Oh. And he is going to care about me Barbara. now, Hal. I don't want to hear it anymore. I don't want to listen anymore. Do you really think that man is capable of love? You know what? You may not think that this relationship is traditional. We certainly have had our ups and our downs, and we certainly don't have your seal of approval, but that doesn't make it wrong. Fine. You wait till he gets you living with him, and you will see a different side of him, and you will be whistling a different tune. Well, at least I don't have to live with your constant harassment and outrageous assumptions. Oh, no. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, no. Remember? I told you I was in this for the long haul. You join your life with his, and we're going to be the tightest little threesome in Oakdale. Stick him up, sister. Yeah, go Yo, on. You know, it is really Reach. not a good idea to pull a weapon of any kind on a cop in a squadron. I live dangerously. I've noticed that. Mm. What? A gift. Bubbly stuff. Yay. For the wedding. After a few doubts, the ceremony is now a definite go. Raise high the roof beam carpenters like Ares comes the bridegroom taller far oh, than a tall man. And I'm allergic to poetry. So you set a date then? The 18th of May. Mark your book. You sure this is a done deal? Because the last I heard from Hal, it was really smooth. What? From Hal? The, the man is delusional, Margot. Barbara gave me her answer a few hours ago. Don't I at least get a good luck? Um... You know, I am happy for both of you. I really, really am. That was so sincere. What did I do to deserve that? I mean, I realize not everybody's as happy as I am about the news. Speaking of which, where is old Al? He's not here. Oh. And uh, how does Mr. Happy seem to you these days? What do you mean and why do you ask? Why? Have you seen the way the man twitches when he's around me? He's obsessive, Margo, and he wants to put me in prison. For no good reason. He's got a few emotional problems, you know? And they shouldn't be Barbara's, not on what could be the most exciting night of her life. Do you think this most exciting night of her life might have something to do with pushing Hal closer to the edge? Well, I worry for Barbara that it might. Well, we'll just have to wait and see, I guess. Wait and see? The man is chemically unstable, Margo. Craig, what do you want me to do? Well, the police commissioner thought he was enough of a threat to slam a uh, restraining order on him. Crashing a wedding might not look very good on his record. What exactly are you expecting from me? Well, if Mr. Happy was... Considering a plot to sabotage the wedding, you might be among the first to know. I bet I might. Yes, and you would tell me, wouldn't you? <sighs> Why would I do that? To save everyone the embarrassment, to save poor old Hal's career, to save the children from another upheaval. To, to... save you from Barbara calling the whole thing off at the last minute? Hey, Barbara said yes. Okay? I'm not asking for your approval here. Marvel. I'm asking for your assistance. All I want you to do is just keep an eye on the guy. Hmm? No. See, look. Buy one, get one half off. Oh, I love those. And I'll grab that pair for half price. Wow, those are cute. And this for half off. Let's be the first ones here. The summer buy one, get one half off sale. Hurry in to save on the latest fashions. Doesn't it feel good? New Carefree Coolers Mint Splash. A cool, wet rush of flavor you can feel. Never been able to get before.
The soap and water fresh clean feeling of new Lever 2000 wipes. Thick, soft, and alcohol free gentle. New Lever 2000 wipes with vitamin E. Like nothing you or your 2000 parts have ever felt before. A four letter word for a river in Egypt. Tolstoy novel war in blank five letters. Down there across. When you spend your whole life in a steakhouse, all you really know is steak. And the people who know steak know that A1 is the perfect complement. That's why A1 is served in 9 out of 10 steakhouses in America. An 11 letter word for steak. Order. 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 House. Order house. The people who know steak know A1. With most detergents, you'll need a little help to figure out what's clean and what's dirty. <laughs> With the fresh scent of gain, you can tell your clothes are completely clean. Jay Bush here at the Old Bush Family Farm to introduce our new country-style baked beans. Roll that new beautiful bean footage. They're slow cooked with extra brown sugar and hickory smoked bacon, so the sauce is thicker and the flavor is richer. The secret family recipe is known only to me and my dog, Duke. And I know I can trust him. Okay, let's start the bidding on the secret family recipe. How does have it over you in the corners of a little lady in the back of a man with a hand Duke. up? Duke. Uh-oh. Try Bush's new country-style baked beans. They were heading home until their plane exploded on takeoff. Uh, spring. Everybody move! How did they survive? Cheating death, 48 hours Wednesday. Before there was CSI, there was someone else who could tear down a crime scene, follow the clues, and catch a killer. Angela Lansbury returns. Good heavens. In a world premiere movie with an ending you'll never guess. Just as I suspected. Murder, She Wrote, The Last Free Man, CBS Wednesday. Well, I'm asking you now for a gift. A gift that could change the course of our lives. What's that? I want you to let it go, Hal. I want you to let go of all the hurt and the anger and the pain and the jealousy and the vendetta because it's eating you up inside and it's hurting those kids. And somehow you and I have to find a way to be friends again. Want to be your friend. I know you don't approve. Everyone in town knows you don't approve of Craig. But you can't go on hating me forever, can you? I don't hate you. You can make me madder than anybody else in the world. I wanted to kill you a couple of times, but I don't. And I will never hate you. Maybe you could just try. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, tell you what. You spend the next half century or so as the happiest woman in the world telling me I told you so every chance you get, and I'll see what I can do, okay? When did you say the ceremony was? The 18th. I'll be moving into the Lakeview that weekend. Have you broken this wonderful news to the kids? Actually, I had just told them before you arrived. How'd they take it? Well, I mean, you know, you know, Will, you could drop him in the middle of nowhere with a bag of potato chips and a video game and he'd be fine. He's young. He's resilient. He did say, though, that he wanted to split time between here and there. And Jennifer? Um, Jennifer says she wants to stay here with you. 
You know, you're moving back here is gonna be make it so much easier for me. Well, that's what we live for, to make things easier for Barbara. When are you gonna wake up? This whole thing is a nightmare for everyone who loves you and everyone that you care about. And it's not because they're jealous. It's because they're scared to death that you won't survive. I will make you a deal, Craig. Will I like it? You tell me what kind of work Simon Fraser is doing for you, and then you tell me why, after having years of little to no respect for the sacrament of marriage, you suddenly want to take another stab at it. And then you tell me why I should divulge more than you have, and then I still won't spy on hell for you. You're going to let him do whatever he wants at my wedding? Well, because if he does crash that ceremony, it will be because you have provoked him. Because you provoke, that's what you do. All I have done is try to live my life, mind my... All pain. you have done since you came back to Oakdale is try to get under Hal's skin. Now, it all started when that accident happened and Parker was almost killed. And then you thought that he was threatening Brian. He would try to put Brian in prison. You have done everything you can to sink your teeth into this man, and then you don't let go. And you talk about obsession, you're just a little quieter about it. What have I done? You have taunted Hal, you have humiliated Hal, and all for your own amusement, am I not right? And now the last little piece, you have taken his wife, and you're about to marry her. His oft-neglected, thoroughly in independent <sighs> former wife. You know, I hate it when you talk like that. You might get away with it with Commissioner. Barbara might buy it, but I don't buy it. All I am asking for. It's just a little familial consideration. No more protection than you would offer any citizen. But you're being accused of shady business practices. I'm a venture capitalist. What do you want? You have huh? harassed my boss, my friend. You have put me in a very bad position business-wise and personally. And now you want me to help you. Ha! Just forgotten how funny you could be, Craig. All right. But I do hope I'll see you and your family on the night of the 18th. The happiest night of my life. Craig. You know, when we're like this, it feels like we're the only two people in the universe. I know exactly what you mean. I really can count on you, can I? Always. Always, Jen. And we're gonna do this. We're actually gonna stop this wedding. We have to. Everything's gonna be okay, I swear to you. I will never let you down. Never? Never. I am so not concerned about Lily Snyder. <laughs> yeah, right. I think your jaw was hanging down about, uh, about here. It was not. I just wasn't aware that you were so into her still. <sighs> I'm not. You could have fooled me. I bust into the Walsh estate, ready to teach your little foreign exchange student a lesson or two, and what do I see? You and Lily looking oh so longingly at oh, each we other. Oh, we were doing nothing. You know what? I so don't have to explain to you. Forget it. Just admit it, that you still have feelings for her. Uh, Lily is back with her husband, holding again. That doesn't okay. answer my question, The Simon. answer is no. I was there with Ruby. Lily came in search of Lucinda. That is the end of the story. You expect me to believe that? Lily found out the truth today about my, my past, about the con games, the marriages, everything I've done. Everything, everything? Well, enough for her to probably hate me. So, yeah, I think I've heard the last of Lily Snyder. Oh, don't bet on it. Yeah. No, I would really love to hang around, but, but apparently, according to you, I've got, I've got women to conquer, lips to kiss. You're going to see Ruby after everything that I just said? It's a job. Katie, it's a job. A job that will put your brother in a position to pay me. And when he does, I am history. Whatever Craig is asking you to do, just don't do it. Say no, Simon. It's too late. You don't understand the kind of person that you're dealing with, OK? He gets you to do all of his dirty work. That's what he does. You're imagining things, Katie. No, he gets you to do his bidding. He hangs you out to dry, and then he's untouchable. He's looking out for himself, Simon. Who is going to look out for you?
You led a full life. Then you were diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. But there's new hope. A prescription drug that relieves pain and inhibits the progression of joint damage. It's called Remicade. Your doctor may prescribe Remicade if you are on methotrexate already and not responding well. You take one dose of Remicade every eight weeks after the first three doses. Of course, Remicade is not for everyone. Serious infections requiring hospitalization have been reported. If you are prone to or have a history of infections, currently have one, or develop one while taking Remicade, tell your doctor right away. There's a risk of serious infusion reactions with hives, difficulty breathing, and low blood pressure. Ask about Remicade and inhibiting the progression of joint damage. At least you can eat like a man. Franks. They plump when you cook them. Kitchen grease, soap scum, all kinds of messes. You need power cleaning. Formula 409. Formula 409 has the giddy up to power through kitchen grease. It also wipes out soap scum better than fantastic. Giddy up 409. The world is awash in sweet tasting mouthwashes. If all you want is sweeter breath, take your pick. But for a healthier mouth, you need the power that's in Listerine. Listerine is the only mouthwash clinically proven to locate and liquidate germs between teeth, even germs that can cause the gum disease gingivitis. Why stop at sweeter breath? Liquidate germs with Listerine. Don't let a good mouth go bad. New Nivea Skin Firming Lotion with Q10 works even faster, and it's more effective. Now it has your skin's own coenzyme Q10 to improve firmness and tone. Only from Nivea. Pick it up, flip it up, pour it out, drink it up, coffee mate. Coffee mate! Got a new face! Coffee mate! Got a rich taste! Coffee mate! In your favorite cup! Coffee mate! Love it up! Coffee mate from Nestle. Tonight, on 60 Minutes 2, Bob Carey's squad killed women and children in Vietnam. Was it an accident, or did Carey order it? Did he give the order? Yes. And what was the order? Kill him. The full story is only on 60 Minutes 2, tonight at 9, 8 Central. I'm a big boy, Katie, and I've seen all types. I do not need protecting. You do when you're dealing oh, with come Craig. come on, you're talking about your brother. Exactly why I'm in a position to talk about this. He is the king of broken promises. He asks for your help. He's nice and generous while he's dangling the carrot in front of your nose, but watch out for that stick. I know you want me to stay in town, Katie, but you knew from the start that this situation was only temporary. I'm not telling you this to keep you in town or broke. Listen, if I don't do this for Craig, it's back to the garage for us. If that is, 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 tell me, is that what you really want? If that's what'll keep you safe, yes. <laughs> well, well so you mean you would actually trade in the, the, the beautiful lush penthouse suite for that, for the grease and the grime and the noise of the garage? In a heartbeat. <laughs> Katie, I'm gonna be all right, okay? You don't know who you're dealing with. He's gonna get you in trouble. Okay, I promise that I will not do anything that's going to get me into more trouble than I can handle. Okay? You promise? I promise. Now, now whatever you do, don't follow me, okay? I'll call you later. You forgot to kiss me goodbye. No, I didn't. Silly man. He'll come around. Yeah, good evening. This is Craig Montgomery. Couldn't be better, thanks. I'm, listen, I'm calling to inform you that the Ryan Montgomery wedding will go on as planned. Well, yeah, thank you. We are terribly happy. Yes, that's right, May 18th. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll want the flowers, the caterers, the music, the whole shebang. That's, that's, that's uh, right. Uh, listen, about the deposit, it might 
be a lot easier for all of us if you just rip up that check I gave you and just charge the whole thing to Barbara Ryan. Okay, thanks. I'll be there. Cinda, it's how months in. Listen, would you give me a call regarding certain photographs your grandson has in his possession? I think they'd make a hell of a wedding present. Smile, you got friendship. Smile, you got friendship. Oh, honey mustard, smile. Honey mustard, smile. There's nothing like the new sweet and tangy taste of French's honey mustard. Smile, you got friends. Keep on surviving.